This is the latest from Force 13 AU we tropical cyclone Lola category 2 for Monday the 23rd of October here's a look at some satellite imagery of what is a impressive system the Bureau of Meteorology is yet to update as uh, their uh, position and this is their track animated uh, model it's their new feature and you can see the forward motion And for the next four days, they have percentages at high. Tropical Cyclone Lola Category 2 continues to develop and is probably less than 24 hours away from possibly reaching cat free tropical cyclone lately lies to the east of the solomon islands within fiji's area of responsibility and will move southwest during the early part of the week moving close to the far northeast Coral Sea region by Wednesday. Systems expected to begin weekly from mid to late this week and is to stay well away from the Australian mainland. This is the latest from the Fiji uh, Met Office. And central pressure is down around 987 millibars. And it's 12 decibel, 3 degrees south, 169 degrees east, 65 knots. There's no report of the gust and central pressure 987 millibars. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre. Here's their uh, information. Tropical Cyclone 01P has rapidly intensified 30 knots over the past 24 hours from 35 knots to the current intensity of 65 knots. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts a rapidly consolidating system with deep convective banding wrapping tightly into a ragged defined eye. The initial position is based with medium confidence based on the imagery and a 91 gigahertz by microwave image showing a microwave eye feature. 37 gigahertz colored composite reveals the cyan ring rounding 
the Define Eye feature indicative of the ongoing rapid intensification phase. The initial intensity of 65 knots is assessed with high confidence based on the agency's uh, subject to FORAG estimates. The cyclone is forecast to track southward to south southwest along the western periphery of the e near equitable ridge through the next 48 hours. Environmental conditions will remain highly favourable until about 36 hours with a peak intensity of 100 knots. Gradual weakening anticipated after 36 hours due to the land interaction, increasing vertical wind shear 15 and 20 knots and cooling sea surface temperatures 26 27. System should track just south of Esperetti, Santo Vanuatu, recurving gradually southward towards New Caledonia while rapidly weakening due to strong vertical wind shear of 25 to 40 knots associated with the subtropical westerlies and as mentioned 25 down to 23 Celsius sea surface temperature. The cyclone will likely dissipate around the 120 hour mark as it interacts with a weak baroclinic zone, hostile environmental conditions. You will call Model guidance has come into better alignment over the past day but still reflects uncertainty in the exact track, especially in respect to the islands of Vanuatu and New Caledonia. It's a 115 nautical mile cross track spread at 48 hour mark with solutions from Northern Esperite uh, Sado Island to Malakula Island. The better guidance CCNWF GFS shows the track south of the Esperite Santo. The Vanuatu Met Office is also closely monitoring the uh, cyclone. Uh, limited warnings remain in place. We'll have a look at that in a later update. Now here's some uh, models. And the key message uh, from the uh, information that I provided is that the tropical cyclone is likely to reach a category 3 system. Late cycle intensity uh, guidance is indicating a cat 4, but we could see a uh, high range cat 3, not quite a cat 4 on the local scale. Late cycle track guidance. EPS It has been uh, tracking uh, southeast but it's supposed to track to the southwest then adopt a uh, southerly change and you have a look at that one it could then edge onto the edge of the northeastern region of the coal sea. We will continue to bring the uh, latest uh, information when we can.